Hello and welcome to a special of Mr. Mac. I thought that today would go over the equipment that I use in my videos. As you can see, we've got a GoPro Hero 4 Silver, we've got a Canon SL1, and my brand new edition, the Canon 77D that I've been talking so much about. Right now I'm shooting on a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge in 4K with an external microphone. Hopefully this will look real good. Why don't we start out with this guy. This right here is one of my favorite cameras for the fact that, well, it's big, it's small. It's got a little hot shoe mount, can attach this little road mic, the micro more to say, to top of it. But the fact that you can shoot in so many different qualities. It's small, easy to take places. This right here is probably my favorite camera for that reason. And I've got a lot of different things that I can attach to it. And you know, there's so much you can do with a GoPro shooting at high quality, high speed, doing slow motion, that whole nine yards. This right here is my first SLR. It only shoots up to 1080p. It's a couple of years old, but it is pretty awesome with this little guy on top with the dead cat on it it's great it's a great beginner camera I think you can pick one up between four and five hundred bucks right here I've got my new 50 millimeter lens that I got not too long ago it's better for photography because in order to get those that bokeh the blurry background the thing that sucks is you gotta set this guy up really far away but when you put the little road mic on this, or you're putting the big one, the Go, you're gonna get great sound quality, really easy to control it using the menus on the Canon. Of course, my favorite setup, the Canon 77D. This thing is a beast. It's got the flip out touch screen so you can see yourself. Shoots a 1080p. But it also has HDR mode, which is going to be a slight or er, better quality. With the 10 to 18 millimeter lens on this thing, you can get those really nice wide angle shots. Not very good in low light, but that's okay. But this lens has the optical image stabilization in it, and when it's compared and put with the digital image stabilization that this beast has, with the 45 point autofocus system, you're gonna get some of the best videos that you can with this. This camera, I got body only in Kenmore cameras, starts at 899. With this microphone on it, you're gonna get even better sound quality. So, depending on what kind of setup you're looking for, I highly recommend this one right here. It is a little heavier, so if you wanna make it less, that's when we go over to this guy. We call this the Canon Pancake Lens. It's the 24 millimeter. A little small, nice and compact. What I like about this, it really decreases the weight on the camera. I mean, when you look at this, it's pretty hefty, pretty big. But when in doubt, if you're not wanting to go out and spend all the money, you just stick with the regular kit lens, which is the 18 to 55 millimeter. It's got optical image stabilization, autofocus, you can turn those off, do manual focus, whatever works for you. These are what I like to shoot with. Now, of course, when I'm on the go and I don't have any of my equipment on me, I've got my S7 Edge. And I've always got a little kit with me in case I want to shoot something or take pictures, whatever I'm doing. The downside to these cameras, except for that one that you guys are seeing me on right now, is that these cameras do not shoot in 4K. The Hero here, it shoots in 4K but at 15 frames per second. And if you look that up on YouTube, it looks absolutely terrible. So. If you're doing this guy, you probably want to stick with 1440p or 2K because that's going to be easier. And you can also pick this guy up because it's the previous generation for a lot cheaper than the GoPro Hero 5 Black, which does have the digital image stabilization. But from 
mixed reviews. I think the Hero 4 is going to be your best bet. You can pick up the Hero 4 Black for like 350 bucks, maybe even 300 depending on where you're doing it. Anyways, this is a shout out to Tube Noob. Great, wonderful videos on how to shoot vlogs. Casey Neistat, you're always there. Super awesome. Big influence on me and to all the YouTubers out there. If you guys ever have any questions, just shoot me a, just a little comment below this video or whatever works for you. This video may not be funny and all that like you're used to seeing, but I wanted to shoot in 4K for once because the cell phone is not a bad camera. It's a really good camera. And the S7 Edge and the S7 have one of the best cameras in the world along with the S8 that just came out. It's got an autofocus system that is very similar to this beast right here. Anyways, subscribe, hit that like button, and whatever you guys do, always keep that smile. Lame Joke Friday is returning, just a lot of stuff going on. Just want to shoot this video out, because why not? Anyways, this is Mr. Mike with all his camera equipment. Let me know. Who knows? Someone might be the next YouTuber that's watching this. Peace out, guys.